and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley with the Yarn Barn NC and welcome back to another market vlog. This is our second market vlog here. I think with this one we learned a little bit from the last market vlog. We did a few more clips, a few more check-ins throughout the market. I can't exactly remember if I did an outro. I know we did a little intro and everything like that. We did some check-ins throughout. It was a, definitely a fun market. We weren't as successful as our last market but of course the last market was one of my largest events I've ever done. So it definitely was a little bit more mellow, chill, market at this one and I've done this one in the past. I did about the same amount in sales so it wasn't anything super surprising or anything like that but I appreciate you guys hanging out and I'll go ahead and roll the clips. What are you doing? You say hi. You say hi to all the people. I'm so handsome. I want to show everybody. and welcome back to another market vlog. This is a Sunday market at a brewery. So we already have the car all packed. It looks like a hot mess. We had to play Tetris for a little bit. We have about three bags and a box full of plushies. We have our new grid balls that we're gonna try out. We only have a six by six space. So we're only taking one um, six foot table and then we're taking two grid walls. I have some hangers for my keychains and some baskets. So we're gonna try out this setup. I also have my chicken coop since that did really well at my last market. But yeah, we're all set. Um, we have probably about 20 minutes before we have to leave. So we're just waiting to go ahead and go. So we'll see you there. up our setup. Um, I think you guys have already seen the time lapse. So we, it's a little bit of a smaller setup. We only have a six by six. So let's go ahead and go check it out. spreadsheet we brought about right under 4,000 like 37 to 40 something like that I definitely have a lot left over but we do have one more market coming up this upcoming weekend on December 2nd which is I used to consider my biggest market after the harvest festival but I went last year for the first time and completely sold out all of my inventory so 
I'm hoping that this year when we go to it uh, again, that it's going to be just as successful. I just wanna go ahead and tell you guys a few of my best sellers. In situations like this, you can kind of see what more is your best sellers because of things that people gravitate towards when you have such a large selection of items at like my Clinton Harvest Festival. A lot of people just really wanted an item so they would just grab anything that their kid, you know, kind of wanted and then keep going with that. But at this one, it's kind of like a more mellow one. So people have time to look and time to like figure out what they want. It was also a holiday sip and shop. So I feel like a lot of people were doing a lot of Christmas shopping, just little tiny things here and there walking through the vendors. So I did only sell two large items, which was my sloth and my moose by Stephanie Brooks Co. I think both of those were shown in my everything I made this week video. So those are my two big items that I sold. Um, I did sell a lot of tofus um, by Meg's Makes Crochet. A few little octos here and there. I sold a sunflower turtle from All From Jade. So it was just definitely a lot of more things, a few bigger items. I think I sold a few extra dinosaurs here and there. Like I keep saying this, but it was just mellow. It was chill. I liked I had, was able to talk to a lot more people and interact with them and do all that fun stuff. I'm not bummed or anything about the outcome because I still think a $500 sales market is still really good. So I'm not complaining whatsoever. And also kind of chills out my anxiety a little bit that I don't have to turn around two weeks later and do another huge market and try and like rush out all these items. I do have a lot of inventory left and it's been about a week since my holiday sip and shop. So I've made a few things here and there, but recently I've been really obsessed with trying to make a hexagon cardigan. So that's usually what's been taking up most of my time. I don't know why I've never made a wearable before, but like this one's actually turning out kind of what I was imagining. So I'm just really happy with myself. If you guys want to check out my website, it will either be linked in the description or if Luke wants to be wonderful and put it somewhere around here. That would be great. Like I said, a lot of the things on there are made to order, but there are some ready to ship items if you want to go ahead and get some for Christmas. But if you are looking for something that is made to order, I would definitely recommend going ahead and placing an order for Christmas so I can go ahead and get all those orders up for Christmas. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and I definitely want to know what you guys are interested in seeing. So if you guys have any video ideas or if there's like a specific plushie that you guys want to see me make, maybe we could do like a little crochet with me or something like that. Um, so if you guys have any specific ideas, just go ahead and please leave them in the comments. I would love to get to know what you guys want to see since I really just want to do what you guys want to see along with what enjoyment I get out of making videos. But I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today in this week's market vlog. Hopefully if I can convince Luke to try and help me film at my next one, but it's going to be super hectic. So I don't know how much good clips and stuff we're going to get. But I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. And if you guys are looking forward to any of my future videos, please feel free to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Since Luke is graciously editing all my videos for me, I am more apt to record more videos and just give him the hard part of editing. Definitely, if you guys enjoy Luke's editing, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys later.